In addition to determining concavity, your second derivative can also help you find local extrema. Because if you remember from the first derivative test, we know that as the derivative goes from negative to positive, negative to positive, we have a local min. If it goes from positive to negative, we have a local max. You can do a similar trick with the second derivative. And the way that works is, look, I have a critical point here. I have a critical point there. My first derivative is zero at that point. But notice that the concavity is making a hill. So how can you have a min or a max if you're on a hill? Well, it would have to be a max. So the second derivative test says that if you have a critical point C and F double prime C is negative at C, then you have what? You have a local max because your concavity is balling up. If you have a critical point and your second derivative is positive, it means you're concave up like this, then you're going to have a local min. And so that's an alternative version of determining local extrema using the second derivative instead of the first. And I'll show you an example of how this works as well. All right, now to continue our discussion, we want to use the second derivative test to find local extrema of f of x, which is equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x plus 1. We've actually already have done all of this work in the previous example. We have our sign chart. So here's what we did earlier. Here's our sign chart. And the only thing we need to consider now is in addition to the, the inflection point, we also need to figure out what's going on with my critical points. And my critical points come from the first derivative. Okay, and so please just take me for granted here that if you set the, second, the first derivative equal to zero and you factor, you get that the critical points in this case are negative one and one half. Okay, so here's negative one and one half. The second derivative test says what is going on with these points in regards to concavity. So here I have a local extrema at negative one. I have a horizontal tangent, loop at tan I have a horizontal tangent line at negative one. So something like this. And I'm concave down. So how is that possible? This must be a local max. And that's what the second derivative test says. So here, from my sign chart, we can say, we'll just say from the sign chart, we see that f double prime of what was my first critical point here, negative one, is negative. And f double prime of my second one, which was one half, is positive. And so by the second derivative test, we have, or f of x has, a local max, a local maximum at negative one, f of negative one. And that point is negative one, one half. Okay. Also, we have a local min at one half f of one half, and that value is one half negative three fourths. Okay. Now, if you watch the video that I did with the same example using the first derivative test, you'll see that these results are consistent. So again, we have a local max at negative one, one half and a local min at one half negative three fourths. And how do we know that? Because they are critical points, so they have horizontal tangent lines. And at the point negative one, I'm in a point where I have, I'm concave down, so something like this. And at one half, I'm concave up, something like that. So the only way that's possible is if at negative one I have a max and at one half I have a min. I hope this makes sense. Understanding increase and decrease, local min and max, concavity, has a lot of applications. It's very useful. If you need help, please let me know. I'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching.